out for thrills and got them. 3,000 employees of the Pioneer White Motor Company and distributors from all over the world to see the new White 3000 put through its paces in Cleveland's giant Lakeside Auditorium. And they're greeted by Robert Black, president of the company, on the 50th anniversary of the greatest name in trucks. A pageant, of course, to remind the folks of the heritage behind their latest triumph. This was the latest thing for putting out fires in its day, and might easily be continued in service even now. This snappy number for the gay blades of yesterday, however, has been honorably retired. But you're still likely to see many venerable whites viewing the world's work, along with tens of thousands of their modern counterparts serving every industry. many whites have passed the million mile mark that people stopped being surprised about them 20 years ago. Half a century of rugged service and still they come, newer and bigger and better. The million milers of today bringing us everything we eat, wear or use for modern living. See the vertical exhaust pipe? That's the distinguishing mark of White's new diesel, a complete line of Huskies now ready to perform their special tasks of transportation. Now here comes a pretty piece of truck jockeying with a real load aboard. Here's the modern way to turn your house around. Yes, that's a complete lustron home down to the last doorknob. But a good white and a good driver can swing it around as easy as roller skating. back it into the curb on Monday and move in on Thursday. Pretty nice for someone. But for real maneuverability, the new white 3000. Watch this baby do figure eights. The truck is shorter, the driver sits lower, sees more, turns shorter, and smiles more often than in any truck ever designed engineered to make deliveries at lower cost, to haul more per limit load, to conserve the driver's energy, and to keep mechanics from losing their tempers. And it's not done with mirrors. Just by throwing 70% of the chassis weight on the front wheels and moving the driver down where he can get in and out easily. It's all made possible by the fact that the entire cab is on trunnions and can be lifted entirely out of the way of the engine in 20 seconds. The greatest favor ever done for a garage mechanic by any manufacturer. Yes, you are looking at the million milers of tomorrow. A style for every industry and every use. Over the highway or for close packed city deliveries. and superior loading characteristics of their new truck. 
but in two years of testing the new 3000, they had never had an accident to study to see how well it would stand up under punishment. So they called in the test pilots of the automotive world. They had never before found trucks they were willing to give the works like this. But these trucks were different. So for test number one, they started to see if they could deliberately turn one over on its side. But it wasn't easy. These foot-high ramps had so little effect that the boys began to take them side by side like Roman chariots. So up went the ramp high enough to turn over an ordinary truck. But those whites kept under perfect control and stayed on the ground. They had to build that ramp more than shoulder high to turn the trick and the truck. Here it comes, up and over, stuck against a concrete column. But here comes the driver, unhurt and happy. And after that crumpled fender was pulled out of the way, the truck drove off under its own power. So then some more tests to see if this new truck could be kept under control under far worse conditions than would ever be duplicated in service. But the broad jump from a foot-high ramp with all four wheels off the ground looked easy. So they moved the ramp a little higher. Here's the top one. Watch what happens. 30 feet through the air and it keeps right on going. Let's see that again. Wham! 8,000 pounds right where it ought to hurt, but didn't. And two minutes later, driver Bill Horton is showing that the cab mechanism hadn't been touched, and that even with the cab retracted, the controls are still operative. there had to be an acid test. Deliberate head-on crash into a solid wall six feet thick. And here he comes. He's gonna... Did we see that right? Let's look again. A deliberate head-on crash. But no need for all the excitement, folks. It's a white 3,000. Nobody hurt. Here comes driver Bill Horton to prove it. Not even the white was hurt much. Through the ice and into a concrete wall with a throttle wide open. And the cab is still intact. Are there any questions? Here's a question. What do you do when you run into a trucking problem that stops you cold? Just take a white 3000 and go right through it.